All right, the gut is so important in regard to inflammation in the body. So what are three steps you can initiate today to lower inflammation across your gut? And the first thing that you can do is you can work on your diet. What happens is our immune system is geared to recognize the 5,000 or 10,000 different natural proteins that are found in foods. But if you start to think about all the synthetic molecules that have been made, as these molecules get egress to our immune system across this delicate lining of our gut, they make the immune system think that they're, we're being attacked by some dangerous strangers. The next thing that you can do to help to improve the health of your gut is to work on your stress response. There's so much data that shows that when our cortisol, when our adrenaline is high, this diverts blood from our gut. And as we divert blood from our gut, we can't support this delicate single cell layer that needs to regenerate every three to five days. And the last thing that you can do is you can use some really simple supplements. These are things like fiber, L-glutamine, and phytonutrients like quercetin and EGCG, resveratrol, and uh, curcumin. These are some simple steps that you can begin to initiate today to turn around the health of your gut. Because when you got a healthy gut, when you have less inflammation in your body, you live better, you feel better, and you live longer. And I've done a whole soup to nuts video explaining everything about the physiology of our gut, the anatomy, and the way that this drives our immune response. And I'd recommend you check it out. The link is in the description, and I'll see you there. Take care.